Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Bond and I'm a dating and relationship coach for men at selenabond.com. I'm currently taking clients, whether that's male or female, so I'll leave a link to my website below and you can look at my services there. And please also follow me on Instagram at Selena Eliz. Like, subscribe, okay, all that out of the way. I appreciate the support. Let's get into the video. So for today, I kind of wanted to do the do's and don'ts of online dating, but I feel like there's just one big don't that kind of trumps it all, and then maybe there's like some little micro um, categories underneath that. So I would say the number one big don't, oh, there's a few big don'ts, okay, but the number one big one is not to ask for the number too soon. Guys are just like, oh, I'm bored with this. Like, I just want to get to know you in person. Just give me your number. It's like, whoa, there's a whole community, people, world of strangers out there. And I'm not just going to give my number to like a total stranger. Like, women need to feel comfortable and secure with you first before they just give something like that away. Um, maybe some woman would give it away that quickly. Personally, I would not recommend that. That is not how I would coach my clients at all. You want the man to put in a little bit of groundwork, build a bit of rapport, don't be lazy, start a great conversation, see if you have things in common. You want it to be quality over quantity. You know, I could go on a date every single day uh, for months and years with the amount of, of men that are out there that would ask me on a date and I don't mean that out of vanity but I mean I want to have quality men that I am going to spend my time getting to know and so I want to take that time and have these conversations and see if there is some sort of chemistry there within the conversation and if we're going to get along and the best way to do that is through text and then once you build a bit of rapport then you can ask her number and then you can either call her to kind of ask her out on the date which is really sweet or you can of course just kind of build a little bit of text over whatsapp or texting and then you can ask her out. I think it's always great just to have a little bit of a phone call before you go out with the woman just to touch base and you can tell so much by someone's voice and um, just their charisma and character on the phone, kind of how they're going to be in real life, energy really translates. I find so, I think that's a really great way to kind of see if there is something there before you meet up with the woman um, in real life. So that's the number one big don't. But the other big don't that I would say is not to come off creepy, and I have a whole article, and I think I have a video on this as well, but guys that are just like want your Instagram right away or that are DMing you on your Instagram and are from like a private profile and there's no photos, like no face really in the little bubble and it's kind of creepy because I'm now talking to a complete stranger, I don't know who you are, and it's not about me trying to see if you're attractive or not, but you like to put a face to who you're speaking with. Women, first and foremost, we need to feel comfortable. It's part, it's it's primarily part of, of women in general, um, especially a lot in the media, we're kind of, um, can be taken advantage of and we have to really protect ourselves being solo female travelers or solo female just in the community itself. There's a lot more threat, I would say, to our being than there is to the um, male being. And I don't mean to say that to put a gender on anything, but that's just to give you a bit of context about just what makes women feel comfortable in our daily life. And I know for myself as a you know, a female that's moved to so many different places all over the world, like my safety is utmost importance always. And I'm not just going to speak to anyone and give that kind of information out. And this is why I also personally don't give out my Instagram to people online. Um, I prefer them just to get to know me through a little bit of rapport first, through a few photos, travel photos, and then I can kind of share my world with you. And I think that's such a more intimate approach to go about it because before social media, um, you know, and before we were all asking for each other's Facebooks and things, like before all of that, what did we have? You know, we had to get to know people in person and um, like I miss that, even with friendships, you know, like I wasn't dating back in the days <laughs> that there was no social media. 
But I miss that with friends that you would catch up over the phone or you'd have to see them in person to learn about their lives rather than creeping their lives on social media. So that is like a huge part of online dating um, in this day and age and I understand that but I feel like if you really want to make a woman feel comfortable and ask her out on a date, go about it in a way that she's going to feel secure and confident with you and do that by building rapport over text on the online dating and then get her number and then kind of go about it and, and create those steps. So those were the two biggest no's, don'ts of online dating and I can do another video of the yeses, the great things to do for online dating. So let me know below if that's something that you are interested in. So I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.